and Cameron from Hollywood Ending, part of Radio Disney's Next Big Thing. So what do you guys, what does it take to be the next big thing? No, the one thing I've learned um, from all of this is that working hard is a big, big part of this business. I mean, you have to be able to put everything you've got into it. You've got to be able to, you know, sacrifice some things. Um, but it's, it all pays off in the end. So um, if you want to, you know, do music and next big things, all that stuff, it's just it's hard work ethic. Oh, and it's a huge opportunity, too. So it's, it's been really good. We're super grateful that we got the opportunity. So why should the Radio Disney listeners go vote for you guys? Well, hopefully, I mean, hopefully you guys will love the songs. I mean, that's like the big part of it. Uh, you guys can hopefully be able to connect with the lyrics. Um, and we're kind of following in uh, Disney Star, uh, All Star Weekend's footsteps. Um, we're good friends with them. And they co-write with us. So it's been really fun. And uh, hopefully, yeah, you guys, as long as you like the music, it's catchy, you know, and you want to hear more, then hopefully you'll buy the songs and like to listen and vote for us. And if you, uh, if you follow us on Twitter or find us on Facebook, we want to happy to talk to you. And, uh, All right. Direct us back to Luke. actually got into next thing is we had to audition and so um, we played the songs for them first and they gave us some pointers on how to act and how to you know just how to play and you know, stage presence and all that so that's a huge huge help and they like I said um, earlier they helped us collect some songs so um, they've been giving us a lot of pointers and they're really really great to us we're really grateful to get to work with them and I mean they're stars so that's a good one also. So can you talk about the songs that you guys are going to be playing today? Well the, for, the first song that's a single on uh, next week thing is called God Me. Um, hopefully you guys have seen it and heard it. Um, but that's uh, that's a really catchy tune. We're doing another song called One Wish that we wrote, and um, we're doing a cover of Tonight Tonight by uh, Hasha Red. Playing all those today on stage, and uh, hopefully they'll be really fun, and catchy, and get stuck in people's minds and they'll enjoy it. <laughs> hopefully they'll vote for us too. Yeah. So who would be your dream girl to cast opposite you in a music video? Um, I, I think I, I mean I'm sorry. I, I think we're both like big Selena Gomez fans. So <laughs> I think that would be good. Yeah. She's she's got a great voice. She's pretty. She works out well. You'd have to share her in the video. <laughs> yeah. True. Uh, she's kind of mine. Uh, I'm old so I'm older. <laughs> but, uh, but you're also a Bieber fan. Next time. Oh, sure. So. <laughs> so, we'll see how that turns out. But, I mean, it's, uh, it's that's that's probably the one we both we all agree on. Probably everyone in the band. Yeah. She's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> she's a sweetheart. So. so what advice do you have for a girl on how to impress a guy? Ooh. Well, be honest. Be, act yourself. That's like a very important thing for me. Um, laugh at my jokes, even if they're not funny. That's a good point. For me well, that's like, be honest. Flat but but <laughs> lie when you're when you think my oh, jokes are funny. No, um, I don't know. I just like a girl to have fun. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not oh, yeah, yeah. too big on looks as long as she's like a good girl. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Always be confident. That's always a big part. I mean, I, believe me, us guys, we're thinking about the same thing. But what can we do to impress the girl at the same time? So that's, that's, it's, it's going through both minds. Just to be yourself, and if it works, it works. So, what would be your ideal first date? Ooh, question. Dinner in a movie with Cameron Bird. <laughs> <laughs> that's very flattering. Um, yeah, I mean, anything. I love the beach. That'd be always, that's always a great date. Um, Maybe some, maybe a concert. That'd be fun too. I love concerts. Yeah. Or any, anything just fun and, and relaxed, not not too formal. Yeah. We can just um, hang out and watch a movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And what's been the, the most embarrassing moment for you guys on stage? Ooh. Well, this is actually our first show together as um, as Hollywood ending, but um, we were both in bands before. And I don't know what's your most. Embarrassing? Uh, so I, I forget lyrics all the time. So <laughs> that's a, that's a big thing. That, I didn't know that. That's always embarrassing. One, one time I was playing a show and um, I was trying to put my foot on top of a monitor to so, you know, look cool and kind of seem all cool and then I missed it and I just like, oh, fell. <laughs> that was embarrassing. But I pretend like nothing happened. You meant to do that, so it's, it's no big deal. I just, you know, I, was, I missed it just on purpose. <laughs> <laughs>